Today I'm going to read Wednesday is Spaghetti Day by Mary Ann Coca Leffler. Do you ever wonder what your cats do when you leave them home alone? It was Wednesday and for the Tremont family, it was just another day, but for their cat Katrina, it was not a regular day at all. Katrina paced impatiently while everyone ate breakfast. No one could be late today, for today was Wednesday and Wednesday is spaghetti day. And all of Katrina's cat friends were coming for lunch. Poor kitty, home alone again, she said. Finally, Katrina said. As Katrina cleaned up after breakfast, her friends began to arrive. The kids will be here at three o'clock, she warned, so the cats got right to work preparing lunch. As Scruffy made the salad and Ruby set the table, Freckles dashed in, slamming the door behind him. Sorry I'm late, Freckles said. The kids made me play house with them again. Freckles quickly took off his booties and his bonnet and got right to work. The cats continued cooking. And soon their long-awaited Italian lunch was ready. They sang and they danced. And they toasted each other. Cheers. It was wonderful. None of the cats could remember having such a feast, but just as they were about to eat their ice cream, the clock struck three and a school bus pulled up to the corner. Remember, whispered Ruby, it's my house tomorrow for Mexican food. As the children walked up the path, Katrina watched them out the window. When the kids returned, it was just like any other day. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Katrina walked away, fluffing her tail. No cat food for me, she thought. Tomorrow's another day, for tomorrow is Thursday, and Thursday is guacamole day, the end. So did you ever wonder what your pet cats do when you leave them home alone?